the honorable president of india patan ki jai organized by 47 rashtriya rifles battalion bihar we started our tour of national integration on 30th of may 2013 from the kupwara district in jammu and kashmir we reached our first destination amritsar on 1st june where students got the golden opportunity of witnessing the retreat ceremony at wagga border thereafter students visited the magnificent golden temple and historic jallianwala bagh we reached delhi on 3rd june and since then we have visited places of national importance like india gate and red fort sir students would like to share some of their experiences of the tour with you master rashid honorable president of india jinnah pranam mukherjee sahab and other great dignities audience sir assalam alaikum this is a great pleasure for all of us that is an auspicious occasion we are conversing with a warm welcome to the honorable president of india watching this year from kashmir to other states of india is a great chance to give their talent kashmiri students give their talent and to see the monuments historical places tourist places so that is better knowledge learning process to took place respected sir also an education tour we hope that your good self will be keen interest towards the development of education setup in kashmir so that they will remain so that they will remain no despairly by which kashmir students will become able to explore the talent throughout of the bharat respected sir we the students of kashmir valley are very much thankful of your highness that you have given precious time to us we will never forget moments and will remain thankful ever sir moreover we are also thankful of your commanding officer 47 rr bihar battalion who have organized such a great programs for us we request to your good self that such programs should be continued in future thank you most respectfully the honorable president of great india and other dignified personalities dear audiences i want to greet you with good afternoon from the bottom of my heart with great reverence your good self is fully welcomed to meet you respected sir we are on to watan ki sir through 47 rr we have seen wagga border guru nanak dev university and airport udhampur we have seen a lot over here in the field of agriculture in the field of education in the field of education in the field of culture and we found a friendly environment all around the country the government of india remains always much particular for the whole development of jammu and kashmir at the end i myself particularly and from the people of kashmir one at salute mr president saab and 47 rr that they are organizing such type of tours and given us an opportunity to prove our hidden potential thank you sir sir we would like to present you small token of kashmir master tanveer and master sanawaz please come officers of the 47th order battalion bihar teachers dear students i welcome you to the rashtrapati bhavan though we call it rashtrapati bhavan but this building was constructed before the country became independent this was constructed by the british government when they were at the height of their glory and power therefore they wanted to have a magnificent building symbolizing the power of the british empire which was said there was a proverb rule britannia rule the waves and sun never sets in british empire after independence first few years practically two and a half years it was 
residence of the Governor General and from 26th January 1950 it became the Rashtrapati Bhavan. I welcome you to this historic building where many important episodes were enacted during the transfer of power where mighty minds of great leaders of India, Mahatma Gandhi, Jawaharlal Nehru, Sardar Vallabhbhai Patel, Muhammad Ali Jinnah, Liyakat Ali, and many others, they came, they met, they discussed, and finally, they ensured that the country become independent, after the adoption of the Constitution, it becomes a republic, which we are today. I thank the officers of our battalion for organizing this program. Dear students, you come from a very distant place, sitting there in the cradle of the mountains, it is not possible for you or even for the elders in your family to have a comprehensive idea how vast this country is, how old its civilization is, what progress we have made in all these years since independence. What technological development has taken place? It is not possible to have any idea unless you come, visit, interact with the people belonging to the other parts of the same country. Two things happen when you come out of your village out of your surroundings. When you meet people who do not belong to your area, you find him something new in him. And when you interact, then you will find that there may be differences in language. There may be differences in the usage, systems, habits. But there is an underlying unity which binds this country together. You come from the north, west. If you go to the southernmost strip of the country, you will find people are totally different. Food habits are totally different. But at the same time, you will realize that they also belong to this vast country because India is a land where different cultures, different religion, different languages, different systems, they have submerged and they have created an identity and that identity is India. It is not Kashmiri. It is not Dravidian. It is not Bengali. It is not Odia. It is Indian. All combined together. And this idea you have when you come and mix with the people who are outside your region. This Shadbhavna program organized by our armed forces speak of its imagination and its far-reaching effect. When you go back, I have no doubt, when you will share your experiences with your friends, with your relatives, with your neighbors, you will say, oh, India is a great country. 
India is a big country. What a magnificent temple was constructed, golden temple at Amritsar. I understand you saw Jalionarabad, where how the Indian people, innocent, unarmed people, faced the brutality of the British Army to assert their rights for independence, what immense sacrifice they made. You will go and tell them, I have seen Jalionalabad, where large number of patriots laid down their lives on their sacrifice, on their struggle, India has become free. India has become powerful. This sense of belonging is absolutely necessary if we want to create a strong and powerful nation. You are young today. Who knows some of you may occupy this building one day as the president of the Indian Republic. When I was young like you, I did never think of that one day I will be the President of the Republic. I did not even think of that India would become free because I was just 11 years old when India became independent. Therefore, the potentiality of the individuals is immense. What is required, that potentiality is to be nurtured. Ideas are to be implanted. You will have to be exposed to the new ideas, to the new experiences. To know the unknown is the eternal desire of every individual. When you saw it forth, Surely you are impressed that what a mighty empire the Mughals were. They have built up such a magnificent fort. Every part of that great building is littered with history. These are, and you will have the sense of belongingness that this is my country. I am a great citizen of this great country. I am a proud citizen of this great country. This sense of belongingness, this sense of identification with the nation comes through this type of exercise. When you will go and tell your friends, look, we have so many friends. We did not know if we did not go out how nice they are, how kindly they treated us, how well they behaved with us. Therefore, I wish you all the pleasures and enjoyment which you may have during this trip. And when you go back, I'm sure you will carry very fond memory of your visiting different places, seeing and trying to understand. It is true that you won't be able to understand everything right now, but it will remain planted in your mind. When you will grow, then it will come to your mind, come to your memory. Yes, long ago, I visited Delhi. I visited Amritsar Golden Temple. I visited Jalunalabhag and process of identification will be complete. Thank you very much. Once again, I thank the officers, the teachers who are accompanying you, guiding you. And I wish you very, very safe journey, return to your 
होम थैंक यू बिलाफेड स्टूडेंट्स